Hi guys, I just wanted to pop in before the video starts to let you know that if you are not regularly checking itslivebee.com, then you are seriously missing out on some amazing vegan recipes. Every single day, a new vegan recipe goes up on my website. So here are some of the recent additions. There is so much more new content on there than just what's on YouTube. So definitely follow me on Instagram so that you get all the updates, but I just wanted to let you guys know. Okay, so on to the video. All right, we are starting off by making the caramel. You're gonna add the sugar to your little saucepan or like little pot. Let it melt on medium to high heat and I actually just stir it around to kinda help speed up the process and eventually, even without adding anything, it will melt into liquid. Be careful because I actually burn myself in this video making the caramel because I wasn't careful. So I'm gonna tell you how not to burn yourself, but basically take it off the heat or turn off the heat and very carefully, like very, 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 very carefully add room temperature maple syrup. You can even add this when the sugar's melting because then it might not splatter. That's the part where I burn myself. And add the vegan butter and the vegan cream. And you just wanna add those in slowly, whisking continuously to combine them. Like I said, you wanna make sure that the heat is off because it can splatter. So it's really quite easy as long as you are being careful and you are not doing something else while you are making this. So basically just to recap, you melt the sugar, you add the maple syrup, you add the butter, and then you add the cream. So that is how easy it is. Caramel is not as scary as you think, but like I said, just be very careful. You have been warned. Okay, moving on to the French toast. This recipe could not be easier. So you wanna take some vegan holiday nog. This is the So Delicious Coconut Nog. I'm pretty sure it's famous and everyone uses this one. And you wanna add that to a shallow bowl or like a plate with edges. And then you can just add in your cinnamon and whisk that until it's combined. Then you want to take some sturdy bread that is a little bit stale just so that it kind of holds its shape better. If it's too soft, it will get soggy. So you just want to dip that in just like you would regular French toast batter. And then you can add your vegan butter to a frying pan. I'm using a cast iron skillet just so that it looks really cool, but you can use any type of frying pan that you want. It does not have to be cast iron and just make sure you add enough butter so that it doesn't stick. And then you also wanna make sure you let it cook long enough that it forms a crust on the bottom and doesn't stick. And then I just like to add a bit more butter and flip it and this tastes so good. Like for only having a couple ingredients, this honestly tastes absolutely incredible. It's like restaurant quality, um, but you can make it at home and it's very easy. So that's it. You literally just fry your, your dipped bread in the frying pan. So, so easy. Stack it up and then you can add the caramel. And I added a little bit of powdered sugar to make it look like snow, <laughs> but you don't have to do that. That was mostly just for photos, but guys, seriously, do not skip the caramel. It's so delicious. I mean, it's really good with maple syrup too, but just look at this caramel. Like, look at that that's crazy so i really hope you guys enjoy this video if you try this out definitely take a photo and tag me on instagram i'm at it's live b and thank you guys so much for watching see you guys next time bye